Hey guys, welcome back. So as you can see, Goodwill put out jars again. So we picked up five of them. And um, $24.99, $24.99, $34.99, $34.99, and $24.99. And also I picked up this sweet watch with a 1907 Indian head penny in the face, which I just thought was really cool. And then this 17 jewel Waltham ladies watch. Usually these are actually real diamonds, uh, and this is on a stainless steel band. So, that right there, those two, I should be able to get at least 50 bucks for the pair. Uh, so, turning eight into 50, that's not bad, but we'll see if we can do better with these jars. So we're gonna do each jar, I'm gonna give you a little preview. I'm gonna show you what I saw, what made me buy this. So for me, it was this piece right here, which looks like it's possibly sapphire. Um, it's a good piece. Could be gold, could be silver. It's heavy. Either way, it's worth the gamble. And I believe there was a silver ring floating. Yeah, there's a silver ring floating right here. It may not be real silver, but worth a gamble for $24. Let's just get right into it. We've got our sharp scissors. We've got our scale so we can weigh any gold. We've got our loop so we can check it out. And let's just start it. We're going to throw any of our costume in this little bucket we have. <clears throat> So we got some costume earrings right on top. Typical chitsy cheap stuff. Um, big hoop earrings. Typical typical junk that you find in these. Uh, right here we got a smorgasbord of necklaces. They all appear to be costume. That one might be silver. There's a little small one there. That one is silver. Smart sterling silver. That's cool. Alright, so we got a sterling silver beautiful probably aquamarine on a little sterling silver chain so that's a keeper cool cool we'll put that right here for our keep pile Ooh, here's a nice ring oh wow is that gold um that might be gold that's a sweet ring look at that if you hear tweeting in the background i do have some baby chickens in here you can't put them outside until they get grown all right there's a watch random watch costume bracelet some more costume gaudy costume earrings give it a little shake here oh that's silver for sure right there that's a little silver oh look still got the tag on it 18 inch timeless sterling silver necklace. Look at that, $100 retail, Kohl's. So realistically, it's worth probably $20 in silver. Um, maybe 30 or 40 bucks retail since it's still got the tag. But that's two pieces of silver. Costume, good bit more costume. That's interesting. A little costume bracelet, blue stones. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, there's the bracelet we were looking for. What's it say? It is silver. 925, but that's a really nice silver bracelet. It's gold washed, so it appears to be gold, but it's actually sterling silver. And it looks like we might have some diamonds. Those could be diamonds. Um, usually when you're dealing with a small piece like this, um, they can be real diamonds because they use the very low quality, very cheap, small diamonds on the outer edge. But... That's a heavy bracelet. That bracelet weighs, let's give us quick weight here so we kind of have, so we paid $25 for this. And just in that bracelet, we've got 22.8 grams of silver. When I sell silver wholesale, I sell it for a dollar a gram. So there is $4 of my profit. And remember, we still have the ring and the two necklaces. So that's cool. It wasn't gold. Sometimes it tricks you when you look at it. Oh, drop one. All right, that's all costume there. The one we just dropped was also costume. Nice little costume piece. Costume jewelry I can sign at a local consignment shop here in town. And uh, they take 50%. Some people are like, wow, that's a lot. Well, I get my money out of the jar way before they get it. Oh, there's a good pin. Selective service systems. Usually these are gold or gold plated. This one does look like it's the one-tenth gold plate. Costume costume so yeah i give the consignment shop my uh my jewelry that's sterling a little sterling kid charm and there's another one 
red sterling kid charm costume earrings uh, those are signed replica made in Italy, so that's knocking off something probably. Whenever they put replica, it's usually not a good sign. Oh, there's a sterling silver snowman. Check him out. He's cool. Alright, and there's another one of those pins. It's probably plated, but that's Lion's Club. That's worth putting in your keep pile. And then there's another little pin. We'll look that one up later. It's like an ambulance logo. If I'm not perfect in the camera, I apologize. I've got this weird phone holder, and I can't really see. All right, there's another pin. We'll stick that to the side because we're not sure. Interesting ring. I thought it was silver, but it's not. All right, and oh, there's a silver. There's a oh gosh, silver football helmet charm, and that tie pin was down there. It says W H M C, and it's plated. All right, so we'll put all the junk back in. That'll end up at the consignment shop or something. And we check in on the way back in to make sure we're not missing any silver because we don't want to go giving silver away. All right, so that's that one. Let me just uh, fill it up real quick here. Oh, no. It's okay. All right, we're done with that one. That one's to the side. Voila. All right, let's go to this $24 one, $24.99. <clears throat> Obviously right here, pretty sure that's gold. And it's a big piece of gold. And it goes all the way around and down. Now right here's another piece. This one's got a little fading. I don't think it's the same piece. I think this is real gold and I think this is fake gold. So we're gonna find out. $24.99 gamble here on the jewelry jar. All right, right on top, we've got a Casio Illuminator. It appears to be functioning. That's a good watch. Watches always look really big on my wrist, so I don't wear them. But, hey, that's a $20 watch. We're going to put that to the side. Here's uh, some coral, which is an actual, you know, plant alive at some point in time. Um, so we might, you know, consign that for higher than just cheap. Ooh, what we got here? All right, that's sterling silver. That's a nice piece. Oh, it's missing a stone. Bummer. All right, so missing a stone. That kind of stinks. But this is all silver. That's a good bit of silver. Let's see. Now, you got to count. There is some stone weight. When we weighed the other one, we didn't really count any stone weight. That one weighs, uh, hold on. Got to get the right mode going. On these scales, you'll have multiple modes. Be sure you're on grams so you know what you're reading. 23.8 grams of silver. That's not horrible. All right, let's keep digging. A little costume piece. Really bright yellow costume piece. A little wreath, it's kinda cute. All right, costume. Those might be silver, they look handmade. Either way, they'll go to the boutique. They don't weigh enough to really matter. Costume, oh, here we go, folks. Gold right off the top. Oh, please be real. I believe it is. 14K. All right, we'll have to test it, but it looks like this is a real deal. So, this weighs how much? All right, that weighs 12 grams. 12 grams of 14 carat. Um, my quick math, when I'm buying 14 carat, I'm usually paying $20 a gram. So... Um, that's at least like 250 bucks. Sweet. We're still digging. Costume, costume. Interesting costume, but costume nonetheless. More costume. There is a wanted to be silver, but then turned to gold. Um, ooh, that's nice. Nice little sterling silver ring. Black, maybe onyx. Cool. Costume, costume. Usually these are silver, sterling. We'll check it later. All right, there's another one. Costume, costume. I'm gonna give her a little, there we go. Cool. 
All right, there's the necklace I was talking about that I thought was fake. There it is. And usually these are marked 14 karat, but you can, yeah, see, 14K. But you can clearly see it's wearing off, so that's not real. Um, that's what we call a street piece bootleg. Um, this is a Caralee brooch. That's a good brand. Caralee. So uh, we'll put that in our keep pile, and we'll dig into that one later. Jeez, if I can get this chain out of here. There we go. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. Put that in the keep pile. Put all this in the consignment shop pile. I dropped another one. I'll probably find it with my feet in a minute. Sorry about bumping the camera, folks. Hope it didn't make you seize out. All right. More costume. Ooh, that's interesting. That's a nice little sterling charm. It's a cameo. It's really nice. Really small, but it's still nice. Okay. What's at the bottom? Ooh. What is that? That's an interesting piece, like a floating piece of jade. And then this piece just caught my eye. It looks gold. So I'll have to test that. And costume, some tie pins, random smorgasbord. Oh. Let's see, put those back in there, put that back in there. Here's a random piece of sterling, a little heart. So, I think we got our money's worth out of that one uh, with the gold necklace and all. We're just going to go right on to the next one. After we fill it up. Alright. Always be careful when you're pushing down because there'll be pins and earrings and they'll poke you and you don't know where they've been. Alright. Here's this one. $34.99. And what caught my eye on this one was this big bangle. I think it might be silver. And then this. This looks gold. It looks gold and diamond. So if it's not, then it's silver and I'm okay with that too, but... It looks like it's gold. $34.99. Let's check it out. Cut her open. Oh, wow. This one's to the top. It's got that big watch off the top. What is that? Oh, sweet. Tommy Hilfiger watch. I mean, it's not like super high class, but it says uh, water resistant and looks like it's a stainless steel piece. Okay, we'll put that in a keep pile. We'll check that out later. Costume necklace, costume necklace. Oops, sorry, camera folks. Took you for a ride. Another costume necklace. Someone's going, I like costume. I don't know why he's just throwing it to the side. Um, I, I'm just getting to the to the stuff that everybody else wants to see. That's kind of cool. Costume. We came for the gold. Costume. Costume. And crazy horse costume. Okay. This one's pretty costume heavy. Ooh, here's a big old tangled mess. Now, I love these. Usually the thrift stores, they don't like going through them, so they just throw the whole wad in there. Usually there's some gold or silver kind of mixed in there. This one looks like it's mostly plated. Um, I'll go through it with a fine tooth comb later, but it looks like to me all that's plated. But anyways, that's not what we're here for anyways. Costume... Costume, costume. All right, we're going to give her a tilt. Here's the bangle that we talked about earlier. I can now tell that it is pewter, and it's monogram, so it's worthless. Can't even sell that at the consignment shop. Oh, there's our bracelet right there. Hold on. Let's get all this other stuff out of our way. Costume. Costume earrings. Costume. Costume. Oh, that's interesting. That's in sterling silver. Check that out. It's like concaved. So that's probably a seashell set in sterling. That's neat. Probably get 20, 30 bucks for that. <clears throat> of course, as always, you can find these goods and many more. Hodgepodge 2018 on eBay. Those are not sterling. All right. Dun, dun, dun. What is it? What is it? It feels like... It could be gold. It could be. Hold on. I'm getting excited. Uh, I don't know. 
It's really dirty. It's not marked anywhere that I can see. Oh, there it is. 14K. Yeah. All right. Now that's legit. I can tell just by looking at it. It's older gold. That is real. And those are probably CZs. They don't quite have a diamond shine. But 14 karat again. 15 grams. So that's another 200 plus. Usually I get like five. 500 plus for these. This could be unisex. Z-Bar Link. That's very well made. Heck yeah. So that one was worth it. Is anybody keeping count? We're in the green. We are good to go. So you can take that gold and you can melt it right down. But what I do is I list it on eBay for five, six, sometimes seven times scrap value. And I let it sit and I see what happens. And then if it sat for maybe five, six months, nobody's bought it, I'll reconsider. Maybe send it off to the melt yard and melt it down. All right, what we got here? All right, this is a $24.99. And there's not really a lot going on in here, except for right there. It says Rolex. Now, I know everybody's probably like, well, it's probably fake. It probably is. But I know enough about fake Rolexes to know that that's at least a quality fake. And there's a big following around fake Rolexes. They call them clones. And that looks like a triple A super clone. And those sell used for about 75, 80 bucks. So that was worth the gamble. Um, but we're going to get it in our hands and find out what it is. $24.99. Cutting her open. It's right on top. So let's start with it. Oh, wow. This doesn't happen very often, folks. It is a clone that's new stock. It's never been worn. Still got the still got the hang tag. And let's see if it's an automatic. Give it a good shake. It's working. It is an automatic movement, folks. So that'll be Eddie's new watch that he'll wear. Cause that is awesome. Um, I would have had to pay probably 150 for this piece if I was going to get it from the market where you can buy them. And if you don't know, the way you can tell that this is fake, um, one is the movement. It's got just a slight tick. It's really hard to see. But of course the back, Rolex is not going to engrave anything. Everything's stamped into the metal. Um, the crown here would be perfectly level. You see how it's not perfectly level. It's kind of crooked a little bit. The clasp would be marked right here, and it would say 14 karat or 585, 785, uh, some sort of gold content or PLT platinum. Um, this is, you know, a good clone um, and worth $100 all day to the right person privately. Um, realistically, it's illegal to sell anything that's counterfeit. So I just want to make that very clear. I'm not selling this. I will wear this. But if you have to buy one, that's probably where you would what you would have to pay. All right, so we got that. That's awesome. Uh, some people are like, man, that's a fake Rolex. Oh, uh, I hate when that happens. So that was a necklace that just broke as I picked it out of there, which means it was already broken when they put it out. That's all right. They probably placed that Rolex in there, and they knew it was fake, and they knew it would get me. And that's okay. Here's a Victoria's Secret pin brooch. Throw that in the pile. It's probably a good keep to list. More costume. Ooh. Sterling, that is not costume. That's a good piece. Let's see here. Oh, no, that, that company gets me every time. Premier Jewelry Designs, you'll see their mark. It has like a P with a crown. Their stuff looks real. It looks like real gold, real silver. It's always fake. Just so you know. Little costume piece. That's gaudy. That's costume. All right, here's a little cheap. Elsa watch. This is a uh, hundred foot water resistant. I don't know. Cheap watch. Give it a little shake here. See what comes out. Ooh, a hatchet man belly button ring. Gross. I mean, people donate it all, right? Okay. For the record, earrings are the nastiest thing that you find in here because they're never clean. Ooh, that's a good piece right there. That is 
925, and it looks like an emerald. It looks like an old school ring. So, that's a good piece. That's probably 30, 40 bucks. All right, we got a Trifari. Always look for the crown over the T on Trifari. If it's crown Trifari, it's worth uh, listing. The rest of Trifari's stuff is kind of a hit and a miss. All right, here's the end. We got a Ultra Art, not attractive at all. Oh, that's cool. Check out the cameo. She's set in copper. My wife's a big fan of cameos. She'll come and check it out. And I've got a couple of local buyers for cameos. Um, but this is like a kind of a faux cameo. It's set in copper. It's very costumey, but it still has value. So we're going to keep that. All right. That's it for that jar. Well, that's cool. So we got clone Rolex. Folex, if you will. Here's a Geneva. These are good watches, too. That was in, our, in the pile. I just didn't notice it. Um, fairly new. Those go for 15, 20 bucks. Okay. That's that one. So we got one jar left. We're in the green by far. So it doesn't matter if there's absolutely nothing in this jar. But I feel like there is something in it because I picked it out. And I wouldn't have just bought it just to be buying it. All right. What do we have in here? Right off the bat, there's something going on right here. Could be gold. Could be silver. And I'm not sure. Might have been a watch in here that I saw. I really can't remember. I looked at him. I was trying to look at him pretty fast. There was somebody that was annoying me in the store and I was trying to get out. One of my local haters. But I got this going on. We're gonna open this up. Twenty no thirty-four ninety nine was the price on this one. And interesting costume cross, super bright. Chico's watch, super cheap. <laughs> costume bracelet, costume necklace, costume earrings. They're nice costume. If I see anything that's signed, I'll try to point it out because you guys should be aware of some of those signed names. More costume. This is interesting. This is a... Uh, what is this? It looks like a charm bracelet. And those look gold. I don't know. I'm going to have to check this one out up close. Those look really interesting to me. These Just these links. Oh, just fell apart in my hand. Just these links, which look like they're not really part of it. They look like something. I'll check that out later. Okay. Glass charm. That's cool. Another glass charm. Got to check the edges on those. Make sure they're not broken. Neat little costume brooch. Costume. I don't really remember what I saw in here that got me. Something got me. Here's a details watch. That's cheap. Congratulations. You just bought all the cheap stuff in the store. <laughs> all right. Um, costume, costume, costume. Reach in and grab. There's an interesting broken costume bracelet. Costume earrings. I'm not sure what it was. Something got me excited. Oh, I'm going to pick that up now because I don't want to step on that because I had a sharp pokey thing. Something got me excited in this jar. I just don't know which, what it was. There's an interesting Jesus Roma. Oh, this is the one that has the prayer in it. You can put a prayer in there or like sage. We'll put that in the keep pile. We'll list that separate. Um, Weight Watchers. Okay. I was like, what in the world does that say? Okay. I don't know what got me on this one. I hope I didn't mess around and grab the wrong jar. You know, that happens sometimes. You've got like eight jars on the counter. And you think you're grabbing yours, but you might have grabbed the wrong one. Oh, there's some silver. Okay. A little silver. Silver chain. That's cool. This is a big old costume necklace. All right. 
right, cheap Timex watch, costume. Oh, that looks silver. Ooh, maybe not. No, that's cost. Oh, yeah, there it is, 925. Okay, so that's all silver. I probably saw that because that looks heavy. And there's the bottom of the jar. Oh, there's a little gold looking ring. It says, I think it says Nemo, as crazy as that sounds. It looks copper. It doesn't look gold. Um, nothing and nothing. So, yeah, I'm not sure what I saw in there, but something got me excited and I bought that jar, but there was nothing in it. So, our finds for the day are definitely going to be the gold. Um, let's just do a quick wait real quick. We got our scale right here. We got our tray, our tear. All right, so this bracelet and this necklace together are 26.5 grams. That's almost an ounce of 14 karat gold, um, roughly $30 a gram. Uh, so that's like seven or 800 bucks right there. That's pretty cool. And silver wise, just the heavy stuff. Now remember you got stones, but we're just gonna throw all the silver on here and get an estimate. That paper probably weighs like 0.1 gram, but that's okay. Got this one. Okay, and silver, we got three ounces, so that's not bad. And then, of course, we got our cool watch that we're going to wear. Um, so, that is Jewelry Jar Treasure Hunting with HodgePodge and Finder of Greatness. If you're on Instagram, look for Finder of Greatness. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe. And, of course, you can also look up, we have Facebook groups, Resellers Research Group. Um, that's a great group. And, of course, my friend Courtney does Bolo Buddies, which is another great group. So join us sometime and come back and catch our next jewelry video.